as a result of the facts and evidence presented in this case. The grand jury unanimously returned an indictment against Mac Bailey Marquette, charging him with the crime of murder. You just heard there the Morgan County DA announced that an officer has been charged and arrested for killing Steve Perkins outside his home in the early hours of September 29th. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kenesha Dees. Perkins' widow described the announcement as a, quote, baby step in the path to justice. We'll hear more from Catrella in a moment. But first, here's what we learned from the Morgan County DA this morning. Here's the booking photo of former Decatur police officer Mac Marquette. Marquette was booked into the Morgan County Jail on a $30,000 bond. He has since bailed out. The DA shared that Marquette was the only officer to fire shots back in September. Marquette is one of four of the officers involved in the shooting and the only officer charged by the DA's office. Community leaders reacting to the news that only one of the four officers were charged. The organization standing in power releasing this statement saying in part, quote, the shadows of injustice loom over this larger over this incident and we refuse to accept the mere tokenism of charging one officer. Steve Perkins life was unjustly cut short and justice demands accountability from all involved in quote. Here's what Morgan County DA Scott Anderson shared on these type of responses. I understand fully that there are some members of our community that think that there should have been more than one officer charged in this situation. There are also some who think that no one should have been charged uh, in this situation. However, to anyone who disagrees with the decision of this grand jury, please understand that the members of this grand jury are the only people in the state of Alabama with the exception of myself, who heard all the facts, who know all the truth. All right, well, we mentioned earlier that we spoke with the widow of Steve Perkins, Catrella, and she says this is, quote, a baby step to justice. Our Jasmine Bird joins us live from Decatur, where she has been talking with community members about this latest update in the case. Jasmine, how do they feel about the news? Yeah, Kanisha, it's been almost four months since this case began, and there's one word that the Decatur community and Steve Perkins, the Perkins family, Catrella Perkins, they've all been waiting to hear, and that is justice. And I spoke with Catrella Perkins, Steve's wife, as well as other community organizations today, and here's a listen at what they had to say. Um, I'm, I'm thankful, um, you know, that the cop was indicted. It's a, it's a baby step. It's a step. I uh, wasn't so happy about the bond amount, uh, just felt like it should have been more than that, but I mean, it is what it is, uh, so I'm definitely grateful for the murder charge that he was given. And as for the other officers involved in the incident, Steve Perkins' wife, Catrella Perkins, wants to see. Hopefully murder charges, uh, I mean, they were there. Uh, no one tried to stop anything, no one tried to, you know, go to my front door. You know, it just, they just ambushed him. So I, I feel that they all deserve that charge. And Perkins says this fight will continue. Uh, so this is not justice entirely. Uh, it's a step towards justice. So we just have to keep fighting. Community members like Anissa Safaya with Standing in Power says more people need to be held accountable. So we are glad that Scott Anderson held the one officer accountable, but we need all of them charged. Reason being is if I was to go out with my friends and we went to a, 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 and robbed a, a store, everyone in that car would be convicted. That applies to the police too. They are not above the law. The eight uh, jury panel uh, with the grand jury, and they came back with indictments on, on only one officer. We feel like everybody on the scene should have been charged. Everybody had a scene had an obligation to de-escalate the situation. So we're asking the DOJ and the federal government to charge them where the state of Alabama couldn't. I always say you'll, you'll never get rid of qualified immunity. Um, it is what it is. And uh, as long as our families stand for each other, uh, this is how we do what we do. That's what they supposed to do, you know. This is the right thing to do.
Now, after speaking with Perkins' wife, Catrella Perkins, a little bit earlier today, she did confirm that District Attorney Scott Anderson, he did give her, as well as Perkins' brother, Nicholas Perkins, an opportunity to see body cam footage, but she did not want to see that footage. She just did not want that to be her last memory of her husband, so to speak. So we will continue to follow this story, but for now, live outside of Madison County Courthouse, Jasmine Bird, Fox 54 News.